Hello community, so great that you are back. We have GPT-5 now almost for an hour and I already performed my causal reasoning test, so let's have a look. We have another result already from an AGI leaderboard and here you see AGI2 and here we have GPT-5 medium and GPT-5 high, the pro tier version. And as you can see, it is here between those are the Claude Opus 4 Sinking 16K, the best model from Claude. So this is here the first official benchmark and I want to test it out on my benchmark. Now, I just posted here a short time ago, we have a lot of GPT-5. We have a GPT-5 high, the pro tier, the medium and the low version. Then we have GPT-5 mini in low, medium and high. And we have GPT-5 nano in low, medium and high. And here you see the performance indicator for AGI2 test. Great. Now, I have a logic reasoning test. I just tested here the open source model from GPT. I tested here Grog 4 Live. I tested here Gemini 2.5 Pro, O3, Sonnet 4 Syncing. And the result, the summary is, those are the best model. So the best model is Gemini 2.5 Pro with a 10-step solution without coding. But with coding, it found an 8-step solution. And this is here a cause of reasoning. The shortest path is the winner. Then open EI 3 not the pro version, the normal 3 found an analytical solution in nine steps and it failed at the code implementation. Sonnet 4, 11 steps, a Mistral small, 10 steps, and the latest GPT OSS 120 billion, I have the latest video uploaded, 15 steps. And now is the question, what about GPT-5? So we are here in GPT-5 and I have here my causal reasoning problem and GPT-5 just answered after about 15-20 minutes thinking about it. Let's expand this that you can see it. So GPT-5 tells me, hey, an awesome puzzle. Here's a clean legal plan that reached the floor 59 button presses. So I have here no reasoning. It's no transparent. What about the reasoning traces? This is not available in this version of GPT-5. But this is my very first run of GPT-5. Overview of the idea. Grab a blue key card. Use smart moves. Beautiful. Button sequence is here on ABCB. This is interesting. Full state trace. So the legend, I ask it to provide at the end, looking back, a reasoning trace for me here in my instruction for GPT-5. So therefore we have here now exactly if the step zero start and then the first button press with the button B. So you see exactly what is happening and it finds here the correct way and emergency exit. Beautiful. This is a correct solution. This is great. All constraint or check tells me GPT-5 floors never leave here the interval of zero to 50. It's not overshooting. This is great. Mirror mode is never toggled. Great. This is the correct solution. Never use the untrap conditions. This is the correct solution. Absolutely. So the total button presses are 9 out of 20. Great. Final floor was reached via the emergency exit. This is the intended solution. We have enough energy. We have two code cards. This is great. Code collected here. And the random trap was zero. Why this is Pareto optimal here? The lower bounds driving the optimality. Red requires here. Yeah, this is some internal logic of my causal reasoning test. Never mind. To exploit emergency exit, you must stand on the floor 29 with two code cards. This is the correct reasoning. Tight nine press decomposition. Okay, it's arguing why it found this particular solution. And then it gives me here a resource about Pareto optimality. And tells me here exactly because I ask, please explain your reasoning where it spent the token, where is here the strategy. Unfortunately, I don't see the reasoning process. I'm missing completely out on the reasoning process. So this is something where open source models like QN are so much better because they show you the reasoning. Now here I just get the result and I have to ask, explain it to me, give me the reasoning. And then, yeah. So why it's not faster? Okay, conclusion. Nine button presses satisfy all the constraints. Beautiful. I can give you here more and I say thank you. This is all I need. And I ask here. So we are back in the non-open view. What did I ask? I just ask here something. Validate your result. And you see GPT-5 is currently sinking already about 10 minutes. And here we are. Wow, this is great. We are live. Nice. 
So, you see, it's much faster, just 10 minutes. I'm the lucky one. Gives me a detailed result. Let's have a look. I just want to stay here in real time with GPT-5. Okay. Button press is 9. Sanity check. Gives me here the arguments. This looks really interesting. The verdict, the solution is fully legal under the given rules. Meets all the constraints. Avoid all the restricted traps. Matches the type 9 press lower bound for the emergency exit route. Beautiful. So... You see the validation now, interestingly, is really detailed. Summary of the plan being validated. This is the particular sequence of button presses for the elevator to go from floor 0 to floor 50 with the emergency exit on floor 29. Beautiful step-by-step -step verification. This is nice. This is something beautiful. Okay. B, C, here you have now the reasoning why a certain sequence was pressed. What is the effect? Yeah, I have some teleport. I have some anti-symmetry hidden here in my causal reasoning text. But the most important fact, emergency exit on 29 was found. Beautiful. It's a flow action. Nine button presses here. Yes. No forbidden. Special hazard for triggered. Nothing. This looks really interesting. So let's do a little bit here of a teasing and let's say I know there is an eight step solution. No? So let's say, so I say, I know there is an eight step solution, would you, but it's a complex one. Would you like to try to find it? So I think the next 10 minutes, GPT-5 will be busy, but nice. Yeah. In the first run, I have to say it's really giving here, although you don't see the thinking process here, if you say validate the result. This looks really good. This is really fascinating. A detailed explanation of the internal causal logic of my, if you want logic, riddle of my of my puzzle here. Let's see if it's able to find an eight-step solution. But then, of course, I have a new test, a brand new test only for GPT-5. And let's see if it come up with a solution. If not, we will start then the brand new test. This is, I would say, at least two complexity orders more complex because, hey, it is GPT-5. So we are back after 10 minutes and we have an answer on GPT-5. If there is an eight-step solution, let's have a look. I can actually do it in seven button presses or eight if you count here the emergency exit. This is a tight route. So now let's make it a little bit bigger. So absolutely. So it took about 25 minutes now in total from start to arrive at this solution. So button sequence is B, B, A, B, C, F, A. And then we have the emergency exit. So we have two, four, six, seven and the emergency exit. That's seven. If you count, it's an eight full state trace. Okay, it gives me the logic. I just believe it for the moment. Matching your claim. It found an eight-step solution. This is absolutely fascinating. And you know what we're going to say? We're going to say, as we know there's a chance, we're going to say, as a validator's result, go step by step and show me your logic that this is indeed a valid solution. And the model crashed on LM Arena. GPT-5 crashed here in this run. And I said, no, but I understand it. It is just the first hour after GPT-5 was released. So great, no problem. So I now manually had to check the results of GPT-5. I just took a pencil and some piece of paper, some minutes, and I can tell you it is a valid solution. GPT-5 found a valid solution. Therefore, after three runs, you remember the original run, then the validate run, and then the challenging eight-step run, GPT-5 found a seven-step plus an emergency exit solution. So this means if we now have a look at the final benchmark, the best of the best, the listing here is GPT-5 has now achieved an analytical solution, I think, because I was completely in the dark for 25 minutes on its reasoning process in total. 
I don't know if it started to code something. I don't know if it used a mathematical solver. I have no idea what other tools GPT-5 used. I just can tell you after 25 minutes, I see that GPT-5 found an eight-step solution and it could argue this eight-step solution to me. So this is now beautiful. We have now another winner. So Germany 2.5 Pro, also an eight-step solution with the coding. And, and there I could see the reasoning process. GPT-5 here, a closed-up model. I have no idea about the reasoning process, but I can tell you the result is also an eight-step solution. So beautiful. Those are for this particular reasoning test, for a heavy logic causal reasoning test, the best two models currently on the planet, Gemini 2.5 Pro and GPT-5. And yes, of course, I have developed the next test a complexity level that hardly I can think of and I can solve for. So this will be a real contender for a GPT-5 competition, but more about this in my next video. If you subscribe, I see you.